over again and uh, cross your fingers. Here we go. Hello. Welcome to Weird World <laughs> Weekly, a production of Galactic Netcasts. That uh, giggling man is Matt Stein. Hello, Matt. Hi. I've never been referred to as a giggling man before. He's giggling man. I'm Dave Nelson. How are you guys doing? You guys doing good? It's been a while. Well, it's been like a week and a half or something like that. But we're back, ready to uh, talk about the paranormal, the mythological, the conspiratorial, the unexplained, or anything else that we consider weird, odd, strange, unusual. And we have a slight tweak. We're going to change up the format just slightly. We're going to try this out. I'm going to do a story, and Matt's going to do a story. Actually, Hooray! It kind of, I like how, because I was looking at our, 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 our prepped document, and uh, I have like a subject, and you've got a new story. So maybe it'll, it'll work out that way. Like I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a big, broad thing, and then you'll have this narrow, like specific thing. Yeah. I didn't pay any attention to what your stories were on purpose. Oh, okay. So they may be two completely different things. We may end up one week picking the same story. <laughs> I highly doubt it because I went to some obscure corners of the internet to find mine. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's jump into it real quick. Um, don't forget you can join us on Facebook. You can join our Facebook group. You can uh, like our Facebook page. we got a couple of places on Facebook you can join us. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter or um we got the Google Plus, we got the YouTube, we're on uh, Instagram, we're all over the place. And you can find those links on our main site, gncasts.com. Just click on the uh, upper right-hand corner. There's a bunch of like uh, the familiar social network uh, badges that you all see regularly. Just click on those and you'll find us at those uh, different places. All right, so the first subject we're going to talk about this week is ley lines. And I think we've brought this, or this has been part of other stories that we've talked about in previous episodes. Mm -hmm. Remember the, the term ley lines? I do. And when I first uh, read that, I thought maybe you screwed up. But Oh, you thought they were, they were supposed to be ley as in L-A-Y? Like... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought you were using an old story. Oh, no, no. I, we have not talked about ley lines in particular ever before. Like that just shows how terrible my real memory was. Well, is. my memory is not much better, or it's probably worse than yours, to tell you the truth. <sighs> I don't know. We want to take memory tests to see whose memory is actually worst? Yeah, let's do that on a, on a future. Guy episode. can't talk. Worse, not worst. <laughs> you know what I have to say about that? Hang on. Grab bait. <laughs> <laughs> I right. know you like the grab bag. I do like the grab bag. Or like this. Grab. <laughs> okay, let's get into this here. Uh, the lore and lure of ley lines. This is this comes from um, the website LiveScience.com, which I've I've read a few articles from LiveScience.com. It's a great website. Um, not as good as um, IFL Science, but they still have some pretty quality things. Um, so many people believe that a grid of Earth energies circle the globe, connecting important and sacred sites such as Stonehenge, or Stonehenge, the Egyptian pyramids, and the Great Wall of China. If you plot these and other sites on a map, you'll notice that many of them can be connected by straight lines. Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh, do I have anything for that? Hang on. Um, I have the Twilight Zone. Okay. Um, I got I got this one. Okay. I don't hear anything. Oh dang it! <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Sorry, I forgot I had my. Oh, that's from our our episode of um, the podcast of Terror that we recorded this week. Yes. Talking about the movie uh, Manos, the Hands of Fate. Mm -hmm. Watch it and be be uh, be totally pissed off at us for making you watch it because it's a piece of crap. That's what it is. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> that is very true. All right, so um, people figured out. Uh, hey, let's let's take a look at the different sites on the Earth and see if they line up. 
guess what? Uh, a lot of things will line up in straight lines if you try hard enough. Yes. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That you can draw a straight line from any point to any point. But these people seem to think that these lines have special significance and they have energy. They, they, they circle the earth with, with energy. Okay. Alfred Watkins, a British landscape photographer in the early 20th century, noticed that ancient sites seemed to be aligned with others. His idea was that our ancestors built and used prominent features in the landscape as navigational points. Watkins went on to suggest that the lines connecting these ancient sites represented old trackways or routes that were followed in prehistoric times for the purpose of trade or religious rites. And in 1921, he coined the term ley lines to describe these alignments. Watkins, Watkins himself did not believe there was any magical or mis, uh, mystical significance to these ley lines because there's not. Mm -mm. But that didn't stop the New Age movement. And uh, dowsers, in particular, became keen on detecting lays and douse or with dousing. And I think dousing isn't dousing the stick thing where they figure out where water is in the ground. I have no idea. To the Google. Yeah, please look that up because I think I'm right. I, th I think that's called dousing or dousers. I'm going to be so happy if I'm right. I mean. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. <clears throat> oh, oh, here we go. Practice of making something or someone wet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're wrong. <laughs> I don't understand what that means in in association with ley lines. What would what would that possibly have? What would the connection be? Uh, none. Yeah, there's nothing about dousing in terms of something that isn't pouring water on someone. Huh. Weird. Okay. Yeah. You know what? This is a British story. Oh, maybe Daryl, where are you? Yeah, Daryl, help us out. Daryl Johnston of uh of the network of Galactic Netcast Network. Okay, so ley lines have also been incorporated into a variety of otherwise unrelated paranormal subjects such as UFOs, Atlantis crop circles, and numerology, because, of course. Uh, ley line experts cannot agree on which sacred sites should be included on debt or as data points. Some internationally known ancient sites are obvious choices, such as Stonehenge, Great Pyramids, Machu Picchu, and Australia's Ayers Rock, but by selectively choosing which locations to include, a person can come up with any pattern he or she wishes to find, which was my original point. So going back, uh, my partner, not, you know, guy, guy partner, my co-host partner, Corey's watching. Yeah, Corey. Uh, yeah, well, I was explaining it for someone who's listening that doesn't know who Corey is. Okay. Um, A, get your crap together. But uh, it, I spelled dousing wrong. So D-O-W-S-I-N-G is the fact uh searching for water oh i was right now d-o-u-s-i-n-g is the one i was searching is the one of d d dumping water on somebody yeah you're just, being, you're just being an ass yeah i was being an that ass be called, that should be called assholishness is what that should be called uh assholian uh, yeah, yes is that better the assholian religion <laughs> I start a religion, I'm going to call it Assholian. Okay, so do you believe anything? Do you think these are no. connected in any way? Do you, do you want to explore it further? Do you want to do want to just do a whole bunch of guessing and and uh, and wondering about this, or do you or do you want to move on? Uh, I there, I don't know. It's so crazy to me and out there that I don't really feel like there's a whole lot of like. Sometimes we have topics in which I can think on both sides like this just doesn't make sense to me um because anyone who is any like oh there's a straight line from my house to the white house in washington dc that must mean that the government is seeking out my house for experimenting <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it, you could you could make that argument all day but there's really no there's no way to justify it so there's uh, a, yeah i understand there's there's two things that 
are intriguing to me on the, the ley lines, okay? Uh, number one is when they use them as part of fiction. I think that's awesome. Like if it's part of like a science fiction story or some work of, of, of non-fact. Right. The other thing I like is when they're in conjunction with ancient, like the very beginning of the story, it mentions um, like ancient tra trade routes or, or avenues where people have been traveling for millennium, right? So maybe, maybe there's energy there because there's so many people that have, they talk about this with like hauntings, like um, there's been a lot of activity in this area because this place has had a lot of activity throughout the years or throughout the millennium. So maybe that has something to do with um, when they talk about energy because there's been people along these routes for thousands and thousands of years. So maybe, um, I don't know. That's that's the other part of this that makes it interesting. But people that just connect it, anything with anything, and then they start throwing in UFOs and all this other crap, I don't believe it. I agree. I completely agree with what you just said. So Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, we have uh, uh, Matt's about to uh, reveal his story. But first, we'd like to ask for your help in supporting Galactic Netcasts. Now, do you, do you like our podcast? Do you, do you like what we do here? Well, you can help us pay for things like uh, the web hosting and the audio hosting. And just remember, uh, Galactic Netcasts and Weird World Weekly is only, that's a small part of it. There's a lot of other shows part of the network. So we need uh, your help. Uh, if you like um, if you like Matt, you can follow him over to uh, the Podcast of Terror. And he'll also say, hey, we could use your help with our Patreon, <laughs> which is patreon.com slash galactic netcasts. And all it takes is $1 a month. That's, uh, that's uh, let's see, coffee. Let's do it and let's do a coffee comparison, Matt. Uh, I don't know. I, I buy whole bean coffee and make it at home because Starbucks is absolutely disgusting. Okay. So, um, but for the amount that I pay for one 12 ounce bag of coffee, you could support Galactic Netcasts for 20 months. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, there's not much you can pay for for a dollar a month. Like, this is a very, very small amount of money. And uh, that's all we ask is a dollar a month. And that will get you access to our Slack channel, which is our private chat where I hang out, you hang out. Uh, guests of the Sci-Fi Geeks Club, one of our other podcasts, they hang out there. A lot of people hang out there just to kind of uh, shoot the the s uh, about a lot of the, different things. The breeze, or, or yeah, the breeze, or uh, nothing. You can talk about something or nothing, or just uh, or just be a creeper and just watch us what we're talking about. Uh, well, no, though, because you're the bubble. The bubble next to your name turns green. So yeah, looking at you, Gregor. <laughs> So uh, please go to patreon.com slash galactic netcasts. And if you like what we do, uh, please think about supporting us uh, financially for only a dollar a month. All right, uh, Matt, what's your story? Morning, Glory. <laughs> um, this seems to be popping up everywhere. So I feel like it's, it's, it's worth talking about. Uh, there is a quote unquote fireball captured on U.S. traffic uh, police officers dash cam. Um, I chose it because it's so ridiculous. Like all these people, are like oh, it's a fireball. I saw a fireball. I even saw like a heat map of the eastern coast, and all the people who saw the fireball. And I'm like, it's just a meteor mm -hmm. entering Earth's atmosphere and burning up. And they even say it, it's like the bright flash was apparently left by a meteor burning up as it passed through Earth's atmosphere. Ah, uh, yeah, no crap. That's what it was. That's not that, apparently what it was. That bugs me as well when people always jump to conclusions and think it's something else when it's just, oh, you know what? We live in this thing called space. And yeah. in space, there's a lot of these big rocks that mm -hmm. kind of fly by. And sometimes, you know what? They get sucked in because we have a gravitational pull. The Earth has a gravitational pull. So things flying by the Earth will get sucked into our orbit. And that may take a long time. And then they'll 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 uh get into the actual atmosphere and that's when the fireball happens yep 
uh, the fireball shot across the sky early Tuesday morning around uh, well five Greenwich Mean Time, so one a.m. Eastern Time, mm -hmm. uh, lighting up several northeastern U.S. states as and parts of Canada. Yeah, they had reports of it here in Ottawa. Yeah, I, I didn't hear about this until I saw it in hey in our Slack channel. <gasps> um, Patreon.com yeah. slash Galactic Nightcast. Okay. I know, I know that it's not usually something that we talk about where I just poop all over right away, but I felt it was worth pooping all over right away because apparently a lot of people don't understand how space works. This episode is very uh, much us doubting the things that we're talking about. It's very unusual for, uh, this, for this podcast because a lot of times we'll find at least one sliver of, of truth to talk about. But this is, we're just slamming. We're just, uh, we're not, we're not, we're disrespecting these stories, Matt. Well, once in a while you got to do it. I mean, we're what, 63 episodes in. Uh, if this is like one of the first times that we're really doubting what we're talking about, I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah. All right. So, lesson learned, people. Okay. When you see something glowing in the sky and falling, uh, it's not a UFO. Nope. It's not these, it's not like, um, bunch of kaiju monsters from like pacific rim um it's not dragons in the sky <laughs> it might be that's true uh, yeah yeah oh <gasps> what dragons that should that should be a subject in a future episode of weird world weekly like dragons modern day dragons yeah <sighs> yeah okay i'm sure there's something out there that's weird right that'd be classic oh, yeah weird yeah absolutely okay so basically that's the story um people saw the fireballs they started freaking out and then the 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 powers that be the level heads came out and said no it's just a, a meteor burning up that's it right yeah okay. and you're dumb if you think otherwise okay well i'm okay let me let me restate that um if you're listening to the show and you think that you're not dumb it's no. people that don't listen to this podcast that think that that's what, who we think is dumb. Uh, all I ask is that if you think that it was really a fireball and not a meteorite, that you provide some sort of uh, fact as to what else it could be. Okay. All right. Yeah, proof. Um, this is just like a debate. You have to bring facts to the table. You can't just say, oh, I think it's this. It's fairies. That's what it is. Prove I think you the, wrong. I think I think the fireball and, or the meteor was actually fairies falling from the heavens. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. But I have mm -hmm. nothing to back it up. I have no proof. So, <laughs> too bad on you. Ba, 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 ba. All right. There you go. Uh, we'll have links to both stories in the show notes uh, that you can check out either on our website, gncasts.com, or uh, they'll be in uh, wherever you're listening to this podcast, be it, be it be it your iTunes, um, your Apple iTunes podcast player, or uh, if you're on Google Play, which we're available all now on Google Play uh, Music, or uh, Stitcher, or any place else where you get our podcast, the show notes will always accompany it, and you can get the links to all the stories there. All right, for more on this podcast, including show notes, contact info, subscription links, go to gncasts.com slash weird. And uh, like we mentioned before, we've got a whole bunch of other shows on the Galactic Netcast Network, uh, including Alien Invasion, Sci-Fi Geeks Club, Podcast of Terror, um, Else Nerds, um, Adventure Party, this one, who am I saying? Uh, uh, who Knew and Reviews, uh, the Sci-Fi Survival Guide, and uh, Exploring the X-Files. You can find all those at gncasts.com. And we would love to hear from you guys. If you can prove us wrong, if you have evidence against the fact that this is was more than just a meteor, we would love to uh, hear your evidence. And you can present it by uh, calling our voicemail number, which is 805-328-3966. 805-328-3966. Or email weird at gncasts.com. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Weird World Weekly. You know, I should also mention that um, if you have a story that you'd like us to talk about or a subject you'd like us, like us to discuss on a future episode of Weird World Weekly, uh, please forward it to, um, well, 
Again, the email address is weird at gncasts.com, or you can also forward it to us via our social networks. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, YouTube, all those places we're at. Just come find us and share, share your story for a future, future episode of Weird World Weekly. All right, Matt, thanks for joining me this time, as always. And until next time, what do you want to do? Keep it weird. I will. Good All right. God. All right, and we're out. That's good. Awesome. All right, thanks for watching, people. All right, I'm going to stop the broadcast.